In this video, we will focus on homologous series in organic chemistry. What is homologous series? A homologous series is a family in organic chemistry. At secondary level, you are to be familiar with the following homologous series. Alkenes, alkenes, alcohols, and carboxylic acids. Homologous series have the following general characteristics. All members of a homologous series have the same general formula. The consecutive member of a homologous series differ by a CH2 group. All compounds in a homologous series have the same functional group. Hence, they have similar chemical properties. Functional group is basically the group of atoms that take part in chemical reaction. The physical properties of the members of a homologous series change gradually with an increase in size and mass of the molecules. Now let's focus on part A. All members of a homologous series have the same general formula. Now the general formula of alkene is CnH2n plus 2, where n starts with 1. The first member of alkene is methane, hence n is 1, hence the formula is CH4. The second member is ethane, which n equals to 2, hence the formula is C2H6. The third member is propane n equals to 3, hence the formula is C3H8. The fourth member is butene, n is 4, hence the formula is C4H10. What about alkene? The general formula of alkene is CNH2N, where n starts with 2. Now do take note, alkene requires at least 2 carbons to form. CH2 does not exist, n starts with 2. The first member is ethene, N is 2, hence the formula is C2H4. The second member is propene, N is 3, hence the formula is C3H6. The third member is butene, N is 4, hence the formula is C4H8. The general formula of alcohol is CnH2n plus 1 OH, where n starts with 1. The first member is methanol, where n equals to 1, hence the formula is CH3OH. The second member is ethanol, n equals to 2, hence the formula is C2H5OH. The third member is propanol. And it's 3, hence the formula is C3H7OH. The fourth member is butanol, and it's 4, hence the formula is C4H9OH. The general formula of carboxylic acid is CNH2N plus 1, COOH, where N starts with 0. Now the first member is Methanoic acid, where N is 0, hence the formula is HCOOH. The second member is ethanoic acid, where N is 1, hence the formula is CH3COOH. The third member is propanoic acid, N is 2, hence the formula is C2H5COOH. The fourth member is butanoic acid, where N is 3, hence the formula is C3H7COOH. Now part B states that the consecutive member of a homologous series differ by a CH2 group. Now by stating down the formula in the table, it is very clear that in each homologous series, the next member is formed by the addition of CH2 group. What about part C? All compounds in a homologous series have the same functional group, hence they have similar chemical properties. Now you may be wondering what is functional group. 
A functional group is an atom or a group of atoms that gives a molecule its characteristic properties. It is basically the group of atoms that take part in the chemical reaction. The functional group is the same for all members in the same homologous series. Let's identify the functional group for each homologous series. Alkane does not have functional group. Alkanes are generally unreactive except in terms of combustion and substitution reaction, which we will look into in upcoming videos. The functional group of alkene is carbon-carbon double bond. Alkenes are very reactive. The functional group of alcohol is hydroxyl group. The functional group of carboxylic acid is carboxyl group. The physical properties of the members of a homologous series change gradually with an increase in size and mass of the molecules. Now let's work out the molecular mass of each member in the homologous series. As we go down each homologous series, the molecular size of the members increases. Now with bigger size and mass, the melting and boiling points increase, alkanes and alkenes become more viscous and less flammable. These are the general characteristics of the homologous series. We will go into detail the chemical reactions of each homologous series in the upcoming videos. If you find this video useful, do like and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry. I will see you soon.